Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to your favorite YouTube channel, Grub Films. We are here today, starting a brand new series, show, whatever you want to call it. Actually, we don't know what to call it yet, so stay tuned. But, um, so as you know, or probably don't know, we had a podcast at one point called the Classified Project. Project. <laughs> um, so basically, we have come to the decision that we're dropping the podcast, and we are now going to bring you shorter videos of us talking about the things we love in a short style podcast style um but in much more bite-sized videos that oh, way yeah. we can talk to you you can listen get on with your day and fucking go home all right so I today agree. we have the first first episode which we are going back to our roots of course and we are going to be doing a news roundup of everything relating to spider-man oh boy there's a lot of news out I can tell you right oh, yeah. now, there's a lot of news. So we got a couple articles we're going to go through and just give our thoughts. We're keeping it casual. Think of it like a podcast, but it's not a podcast. All right. So yeah, we're going to get right into it. All right, I'll get started. So we have the first article by Empire Online. This article was released pretty soon. Actually, we just got the notification now, but basically this is an interview on John Watts, the director. So, mm. entitled, Spider-Man No Way Home is Spider-Man's Endgame, says director John Watts. And then also it shows some exclusive images from the movies. Mm. Nothing too revealing, though. The pictures are pretty pretty basic. We see Doc Ock and then Tom. Yeah, we'll probably put it on screen right now so you can see. Yeah, they're, they're pretty basic images. Nothing giving much away. Mm -hmm. But, Damn. That quote is powerful. Spider-Man's yeah, gonna... Endgame. Yeah. So let's let's go through this article. All right. So here we go. It says, uh, "You might have thought things couldn't get bigger or better for Spider-Man after Infinity War and Endgame." Uh, for anyone who's not up to speed on the lore, and blah, blah 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 blah, things are about to get even more complicated for Tom Holland as he's thrown into all kind of multiversal madness in No Way Home. Yes. Okay. So as we know. Okay, next paragraph. Make no mistake, No Way Home is going to be a big movie, and we're definitely trying to be ambitious, John Watts says. And how ambitious? He says, the movie is going to be Spider-Man and game. Alright, so that is fucking... That's fucking huge. That's fucking ballsy, bro. That's good. Ooh, <laughs> right. you have a high... Okay, it's ballsy, but it's also huge. It's ballsy in a way that you're sending this movie already pretty high. So yeah, that, that's like that's creating some like massive expectations. Let's say you're like, holy fuck. Endgame, like you know how big that movie was. Like wow, yeah, like seriously, Spider-Man Endgame. That's that's nuts. I'm telling you, Avengers uh, level movie. That's what I'm. That's what I've been saying from the beginning. This is an Avengers yeah, level man. movie. Well, like we've seen from the first teaser. I mean, we know Alfred Molina's in it. We know Willem Dafoe's in it. We're like, we know Jamie Foxx is gonna be there. Not confirmed yet, but I'm. We I don't know Andrew. about you, but I'm. I'm still pretty confident that Toby and Andrew are gonna be there. So yeah, yeah it's gonna be. It's gonna be nuts. Oh boy, this will be a big film. And I, just, I just can't believe. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I don't think there's really not really much, but actually another um, quote from John Watts. Actually, no, this is from Tom Holland himself. When I was pitched first pitched the idea, I was like, "Wow, that would be a mate. That would be awesome if we could pull it off." So, but there's just no way it's going to work. You're not just going to be able to get everyone to do what you what they need to do. It's not going to happen. But it did, and it's crazy. <laughs> it's fucking crazy. That's nuts, dude. Oh my god. So yeah, no. It, it sounds like they're both just. They're just hyping just, it up. They're just. Yeah, like, no. I mean, it's going to be nuts. Um. But a quote right here that by Tom Holland, just to outline. You, you're just not going to be able to get everyone to do what they need. It's not going to happen, but it did, and it's crazy. Yeah, like, that's just... Oh, fucking God. It's just crazy, dude. I can't... Like, this movie's going to be insane. Oh, yeah. Um. So, yeah. So, then we, the article goes on. We get a quote from Kevin Foggy, who says, uh, There was no one better to bring Ock back to the screen besides the man who played him back in 2004. Obviously, yeah, from Melina. And then a quote, it says, I remember having discussions with Amy Pascal years ago, and she's the she's the head of Sony, if you didn't know, Amy oh, Pascal. Yeah. Uh, looking back on the conversations, 
that first brought the Sony-owned Spider-Man into the Disney MCU. He says, quote, Do we want to revisit the villains we've seen before? No, let's do Vulture and Mysterio and characters we haven't brought to the screen. But I remember thinking, how would you even do Doc Ock, Doc Ock again? Because Alfred Molina is perfect casting. If you ever brought him back, it would have to be him somehow. That's interesting. Yeah. I was gonna and I say, agree. I can agree with that. Yeah. One thing I'm going to say about it, um, I get what Feige's saying, but I feel like it's that it's just like you can't replace Alfred Molina. I realize yeah. I've, I've been watching the Raimi films again, and I just feel like you can't fucking, replace... Are you watching that shit without me? You fucking kidding me? Well, I... High top... <laughs> Alright. High top films. That's all I'm saying. High top uh, films is a great YouTuber. <laughs> Go I was gonna say, out. I was like, you fucking watching that shit? You're not inviting me, bro? It's like, you fucking my favorite movie of all time? Okay, I'm sorry. You were watching movies. <laughs> but, um, what I, one thing, High Top Films does a really good video on this about yeah. how how the emotion is with Alvin Melina and how I think he can't be replaced. So, yeah. multiverse aside, you can't replace Alvin Melina. No, I, I totally agree. I totally agree with that for all the villains we've seen, especially like Green Goblin, Willem Dafoe. I mean, it's just so perfect. Like, I can't picture anyone else doing it. So, I mean, yeah. I mean, Sony but, did do it with uh, yeah. with uh, Harry, and that didn't go too well. Yeah. So, okay, so that's the first article. And the next article basically is kind of connected to this. So, John Watts is saying this is basically going to be Spider-Man Endgame. And in the next article, we talk about Tom Holland and what he said about the movie. Um, and so this one, here we go. This is a quote from Tom Holland. We are all treating No Way Home as the end of a franchise, let's say. If I were lucky, if we were lucky enough to dive into these characters again, you'd be seeing a very different version. It would no longer be the Homecoming trilogy. We would give it some time and try to build something that's different and totally change the films. Whether that happens or not, I don't know. But we're definitely treating No Way Home like it was coming to an end and it felt like it. Now so, that's yeah. that's big too. Now yeah. with the so with the Homecoming trilogy, it was it was like it was like a basic Marvel movie. I, yeah. I just like to say to say it's like Spider Man coming in the MCU, which yeah. was totally fine. Now yeah. when we hear and Tom Holland has a um, habit of leaking things when he's not supposed to. But he says it's going to be completely different. Yeah. So that means they're probably changing writers up or they're just going to change the whole atmosphere of Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't I mean, yeah. If John Watts is John Watts is saying this is like Spider-Man Endgame and and Tom mm -hmm. <clears throat> Tom is saying this is like the finale and you know if we ever see these characters again it's it's not going to be the same i mean this definitely sounds like this movie is going to be you know, like the beginning of the end <laughs> like a big shift for these characters and, and for the marvel universe as a whole i mean th this thing it, this movie is really i think going to just crack open the multiverse and then from here on out it's just going to be you know non-stop the big question is will we ever see another spider-man movie after no way home yeah, I, I think so. I think so, definitely. Or will it just, just be, like, features in other movies? No, I definitely think we'll see more. I think, if anything, honestly, like, going forward, especially now that the Sony universe is going to be connected, I think... I, I, could, I could see them doing another trilogy, and I, could, I definitely think Tom would be, you know, eager to do it. I mean, he said, like, he'd be happy to keep playing the character for as long as they want him to. Um, so I think if we did get another trilogy, it could, like he's saying, it could uh, be very different. Like he's saying here, I mean, straight up, he's saying, if we ever see these characters again, you'd be seeing a very different version. So who knows? I mean, if what we have now is much more, like, lighthearted and comical and, you know, easy laid back... If he's saying we're seeing, we could see something very different, who knows? We might get a more mature trilogy at one point. Mm -hmm. We'll have to wait and see. P I mean, because Peter is going to be older. Tom Holland's getting older. So they could do something more intimate, more connected to the Sony villains that they're introducing, like Venom and Morbius, mm -hmm. and potentially the other Spider-Men, Toby and Andrew. Who knows? 
actually, um, I'm gonna continue in this article because it went down further, but I found another, um, quote from, um, from Tom again. The first film with the, with John Watts and I were sort of flying by the sea with our pants. I don't know what the fuck that means, but, uh, this one, we, but this one, I think we both really feel confident. So we're of, of able to relax. We actually had so much fun doing this one than we did with the other two. Hmm. Yeah, so that, that's good. It definitely sounds like they're both really comfortable now, now that they're on their third, because, you know, they've been working together since Homecoming. Yeah, he's basically saying, like, the first film, John John and I thought we were flying by the seat of our pants. That basically means, like, he felt like they were both kind of just winging it. Like, they didn't really know what they were doing. They weren't very really comfortable. Well, now, now that they're three movies in, they have experience together, they both feel confident with, you know, the direction, their performance, and everything. So that's, that's definitely a good sign. They actually, they feel more confident about this one than they did with, with the other ones, which I'm excited. Oh. Yeah, me too. And you see, that Tom Holland teases that the fight scenes are a lot more visceral and a lot more yeah. hand-to-hand combat. So That's going to be cool. I'm excited for that. Well, yeah. I'm definitely excited for that because, like, when when I when they say like hand to hand combat, like to me, the first thing I think of is like the ending of Spider Man One with Toby, like oh, that yeah. fight between him and Goblin, so yeah. fucking good. Like to so me, brutal. that's still like my favorite like fight Spider Man fight scene we have out of all the films. That whole ending sequence is just fucking awesome because it's just visceral. It's just fucking Norman and Peter beating the living fuck out of each other. And it's just awesome to see that. <laughs> I feel so, like... So, I mean, if we could be getting something like that now, I mean, I'm all for it. I think the prediction I'm going to make, like, this... After this movie, I just feel like this will change Peter's character for... I hope so, dude. Ever. I really do. I just feel like he's going to be more serious. I don't... I really... Yeah, I really he'll do. Have, he'll still have his, like, jokes and stuff, but internally, he probably, like, will be like kind of uh, not say like dead but but like more serious than he was more before. more mature that's what i'm saying like yeah. more mature more grounded you know so yeah we'll have to see all right um i don't think there was anything the only thing in this article uh was that tom holland talks about what it was like working with afro melina and yeah he basically says it was it was a blast to work with him yeah. so yeah uh, no, no uh, just obviously you you expected that the guy's a yeah. great actor. Uh, all right, so moving on to the third article we wanted to touch on. This is like brand new. So basically, uh, Sony just revealed two uh, release dates for two movies that we don't know what they are yet for 2023. So like that's pretty pretty soon. Um, so again, like these are brand new movies. This is not like for Morbius or Venom or anything. This is something completely we don't know about. Uh, so yeah, here we go. The third article, it says, while Marvel continues to expand on its cinematic universe with blockbusters like Eternals, whatever, Sony is hard at work expanding on its hard at work expanding on its own set of superhero films as well. Uh, yeah, the next movie will be No Way Home. More recently, Let There Be Carnage made headlines. Uh, with the post credit scene that indicates the Venom movies are now a part of the MCU uh, the franchise, bringing characters from uh, Tobey Maguire and Garfield movies as well. So, okay. Now, so two Sony Marvel movies get release dates. Hollywood Reporter revealed that they have added two movies to the release calendar, one for June 23rd and one for October 6th, 2023. And this is uh, in addition to the... Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. Aaron Taylor Johnson is going to be playing Kevin the Hunter in his own movie in January 2023. So, this is separate from that. Yeah, separate, but... So, basi- okay, so basically the reason this is, like, kind of a thing to talk about is because, you know, what the hell could these two movies be? If it's not Kevin the Hunter, it's not Venom, it's not Morbius, just brand new, unannounced what could it be? It's basically just speculation at this point. So it's literally speculation. I just have a feeling one of them is going to be Venom Three, and that will probably it could be. be. The la- it'll probably be the latest date of that. What they said. I yeah, just- I mean it could be October twenty twenty three. I mean Venom Car- Carnage just came out, 
October yeah. 2021. So, I mean, for October 2023, for another one, two years. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, that's a, that's a pretty quick turnaround time. Yeah. Venom, the first Venom was 2018. And this one was 2021. So, I mean, there were three years between those. So, I don't know. I don't know if they would do another Venom so soon, just two years after. Especially if he's in the MCU. Yeah, that too. Um, yeah. Um, what? But Morbius obviously is coming out soon. Mm. Yeah. He'll get his turn, probably, because we saw Michael Keaton in that trailer. Yeah. Little sneaky bastard at the end. So I'm thinking it could. Uh, I don't know. It's hard to say. Who knows? I mean, honestly, after we see No Way Home, maybe we'll get a better, clearer picture. But I don't know. It's gonna. I think I, these movies are definitely gonna be related to Spider Man in some way, whether it's his villains or even Spider Man himself. Who knows? I mean, these, you know, it could be a Spider Man four with Tom Holland. You know, like he's saying, if Tom Holland is saying, if we see these characters again, it could be a different version. I mean, this could be why, if his fourth yeah. movie is like a Sony movie and not an MCU movie. You know, it could be him with Venom or the other Sony villains they're introducing, like Morbius or Kraven or Venom or fucking anything from No Way Home. Who knows? Yeah, I was going to say someone, but you haven't watched Venom yet, so I'm not going to say it. Yeah, I still got to see it. Yeah, I'm not going to say it because I think I found another villain that will be used. Mm. But uh, yeah, so those are the three articles you want to talk about. Just going over all the new Spider-Man news. But real quick before we wrap up, there is one thing I want to touch on. It's that um, Sony, uh, the Sony UK account, basically. So, I don't know if you saw, but there's the new poster going around. Not poster, the new magazine from Empire with uh, No Way Home artwork on it. And basically, the thing real quick is that... <laughs> Empire tweeted out the the magazine cover, and the Sony Pictures UK account replied back with three spider emojis and nothing else. <laughs> so, hmm. So yeah, it makes you think. Or it could but, just be, or we could just be overthinking. It's just like Spider-Man three, three spiders, so obvious. But when you, think I don't know. It, I mean, that's like that's pretty like intentional. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty similar. I don't know. But yeah, I'm about to see. No Way Home is less than two months away. Like, it's, we're getting, we're in the end game, boys. Like, it's fucking crazy. Finally, I can't believe it, dude. Officially, like, we literally... are in, we officially, we are in the end game. It is crazy. It the is like, I... I can't believe it was already like, it was a year ago. Like, when we were talking about it on the podcast, like, thinking... This was before even Alfred Molina was confirmed and all that. We were thinking like, well, what if they brought back the villains? And, and now we're finally here. It's like, fuck. It's crazy. You know what? When I thought, think about it, at the end of Far From Home, it gave us like an Infinity War like ending. Because uh, life changing. What? Yeah, kind of. Like life a big cliffhanger. Like because half of the world is gone and now everyone knows who, who Spider-Man is. Yeah, well, also like... Yeah, I mean, going back again, like what Tom is saying, if we see them again, it's going to be different. Who knows? I mean, maybe if in No Way Home, if they can't reverse the spell and everybody forgets who he is, you know, he's going to have to be in, in hiding again. No one's going to know who he is. So, I mean, maybe that's why Tom is saying, you know, it's going to be different because it's not going to be like how it is now where everybody knows who he is and it's all chill and laid back. Who knows? Maybe in No Way Home, they're not going to fix everything, and no one is going to remember who Peter is, well, like MJ all, and the Avengers and everyone. Well, first of all, Peter fucked up the spell. He fucked up the I know, I know he spell. did. He could have, you know what, Strange could have completed the spell. He probably could have done it, like, well, but Pete couldn't shut up. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, so, that's basically everything in the spider world we wanted to go over mm -hmm. the last couple weeks. So, yeah, we're going to wrap it up. Um, yeah, so nothing anything nothing else? Nothing much to say. A uh, quick little video, again, different format from our usual podcast that we officially retired. Yeah, 
So yeah, I just want to restate that. So the podcast will no longer going forward be happening. From now on, we're going to be doing these style videos of us just talking about whatever it is. The videos will still be up, so go feel free go watch it. But yeah, the yeah the ones we've done will be there. But from now on, we're not going to do the podcast for a while. Oh yeah. So yeah, stay tuned for more of these. It's just going to be us talking about whatever as stuff hap- comes out all the stuff we've been talking about so you know movies games shows everything you can expect so yeah stay tuned thank you for listening and we'll be in touch soon with more news yep I will, we will stay in touch everyone have a good ass night go check out the channel like subscribe all that shit stay yeah. fucking cool pizza time Bye-bye. motherfucker